Welcome, Isthmus Grower back in action. Coming back to you with another video just of um, plants and myself, really. That's all this is, um, this channel's really about. Um, it's been about a year, well, more than a year. I don't really want to even touch on that um, since I made a video, so I'm just going to get right into it. Um, I have moved since, um, now I live in a one bedroom efficiency. Um, basically just want to just touch in on plants and how much they mean to me. Um, I've come a long way since what I first started with. Um, the first ever plant I ever got actually is this guy right here. Uh, this jade right there, got it at the farmer's market on the square in Madison. Got it for $5. Um, a couple of years after that, I learned about taking cuttings. Um, and I already learned about it doing other things. Um, I just didn't know it was as simple with certain plants as, as difficult as it is with others. So um, once I learned how simple it was with this jade, I went ahead and did those guys um, as well as those back there. Um, got those started about a year ago, already bigger than the the mother I took it from, which is phenomenal. Um, that just goes with the soil that I used. Um, and that's just how a plant, when you grow plants, how it is. I mean, it really takes time. It takes patience. It takes love. You got to really want to do what you're doing to grow plants. That's what I truly believe. I'm not really picking on anybody. I'm just saying I, out of my own experience, I wouldn't be here without love of plants. Um, if you're looking at these two cactuses here, you can tell this one right here at the top was cut pretty, I don't know if that's ugly or not. It's not a good camera to do it justice either, but um, it looks healthy to me. It's pretty scabbed over. It's not moist at all. I did this new uh, number of weeks ago. Um, that's the top of it back there. I put it in some the same soil I transplanted this guy into um, and went on from there, you know, and it's looking great. It hasn't died. I mean, it's been a couple of weeks since I've done it. And I used a little bit of cloning gel when doing it. I didn't know what I, what that would, uh, what to expect from it really. So I just, like I said, threw some cloning gel on it and just went from there. Um, basically just moving on from that. I got my money tree. I actually don't know the name of that officially, but I got that from my girlfriend, um, what would, it, what would it be now? Three Christmases ago. Um, and I got it in a container just the same size as this. Don't mind the plant that it's in or what it says. Just a tiny little guy. Just a tiny little plant. This is actually a, a Rex Begonia I'm trying to bring back to life. So like I said, don't mind that. It's just a dead guy. I'm trying to see if it comes back. But came in a pot that same size and now... I just transplanted it, same soil as the cactuses over here, transplanted in that. Um, it was doing pretty ugly, as you can see, a lot of dying leaves, but it's growing back. Um, like I said, it's just, I just want to talk about plants in general, um, just how much they mean to me. Uh, it just it, It's really a big part of my life right now. I really um, got a lot of hopes and ambitions to move forward in this. Um, you know, I just the other night, um, was talking to my girlfriend and was telling her how I want to try and maybe even get into the, you know, the, the business of plants, something like that, trying to see what's going on, <coughs> excuse me, and try and learn as much as I can. I just, I love plants in general. I just, being around them is awesome. Um, as you see, I'm, you know, getting back into my plants. I just got it going off a simple timer over there. It runs just over 18 hours. Um, I want it just a little bit over, just off what I've read that you want to keep um, plants that are in the vegetative state going 18 to 24 hours. And, you know, I... I just want to make sure it's a, a little bit in between. I don't need to use all the electricity that I that 24 hours need so I just go a little bit over 18 maybe 15 minutes or so um, I know that's not going to hurt the plants 
Um, if you look at those two, you know, this guy here and that guy in the far back corner over there, um, even the, the Norfolk pine there in the middle, they're looking very ugly, but that's just because I – um, uh, had to, had them in a soil that had no nutrients in them at all. I was actually just testing out a, a soilless mix and seeing what I could do with it and whatnot. Um, I don't want you to think that that one plant, looking at the camera and looking how ugly it looks. Um, right back there, I was just throwing a test in. Like I said, how easy it is. I just took two leaf, leaf petals off a jade plant that were about to die and just threw them on the soil. And what do you know? They just actually sprouted their own two plants in there and when I transplanted it I tried my darndest to keep them alive and you know they survived so I'm hoping that and um, after this summer I got a crazy looking plant in there it gets me excited it gets me kind of giddy as so to speak just thinking about that um, the Norfolk Island pine's yellowing off just because of the fact that like I said it was in a soilless mix wasn't getting any nutrients at all I'm pretty sure that's a calcium uh, deficiency. I'm just guessing. Um, I don't know 100%, but just thinking about it, if it was nitrogen, I think it, it'd be coming from the bottom up. So um, that's just a guess. Once again, I'm I'm not too sure. I just off of growing plants for the past couple of years. This guy back here, you know, you'd think I'd be talking about how much I love him because he's so big, but really, if anybody's ever zoned him, it's not really anything. It's just a. It's kind of like just a weed in the backyard that, you know, if you like it, you're going to keep growing it, you know, and that's kind of how it is. It's, it's kind of just a nuisance. You kind of always got to transplant it, always got to water it. I mean, I don't know about everybody else, but this thing is just, it just eats and eats and eats and eats on me. So, I mean, it is a beast. I got it, you know, it's one of the only plants I will say, and I'm ashamed to say, I got from True Value. I'm not hating on them, but I will never buy a plant from them again. I just, you know, a lot of politics behind that, but um, one of the few plants I got from them, and as you can see, it's a very healthy stock this summer. I'm planning on trying to um, take cuttings from this big guy for the first time ever taking some cuttings from a stalk. I mean, this thing's about a half inch thick in there, and I plan on trying to chop that down and see what I can get going. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to buy an easy clone uh, set up or if I'm going to try and home make my own and whatnot. Um, and when I first started this video, I'm going to try and wrap it up here because I'm getting kind of long and drawn out, not really got a point to this video, but right here, um, I started off with the first plant I got. This was the first plant I got given to me. Um, and it was the first time I actually went to Paradigm Gardens to get anything um, for a plant. And it was soil, just because I had no idea what I needed to grow a cactus in. And they did a great job. If, if you look at it, when I first got it, it was right about here. And you could see that when I, from the information I gave the people that they transplanted in some healthy soil and it kind of jump started from that little itty bitty stalk down there to a nice healthy one and then there's that third level if you look real hard I know this camera's pretty crappy but there's like a third level right there that kind of widens up that's when I got it and I transplanted it from the stuff I got from Paradigm and then as it keeps growing as you see it just keeps getting bigger from the bottom up I'm pretty sure that's, I've, I've done some research, that's how they grow as well, but it's also a, an indication of the soil that it's in, but, you know, I'm not taking away from anybody, you know, the people I got it from, because they're really good people, I actually named it after them, so um, it's the barfoot, barfoot cactus, so um, it, it is a very nice one, it's a granddaddy cactus, it, um, it's from Arizona, and in 60 years it'll grow its first arm and right now it's 20 years old so I'm very proud of this plant hoping to keep it alive to see its first arm and hopefully hand it down to my grandchildren nothing against the kids that I have not given birth to yet but I just hope to give it to my grandkids <laughs> so it's a granddaddy cactus and I just want to give it to my grandkids if y'all I mean y'all can get y'all can feel that so um, yeah, just a basic look at my indoor setup here under just a basic little eight, eight light T5 setup. I mean, you can go to town, man. You can really go to town. Thanks. Talk to y'all later.